All right, tutorial Thursday, as it's called. Uh, we are gonna have a look at uh, how to import uh, or how to export Facebook data and then how to import it into uh, Google Data Studio. And we're gonna do that through Google Sheets. And I've prepared a sheet for you. I will put the link in the description of this video to where you can actually download that sheet, uh, make a copy of it and then use it for yourselves. I hope you, I hope you enjoy this. Alright, so last time we started creating a dashboard that looks like this and that was having an attention place and acquisition. Now we're going to add uh, Facebook. So we've added three data sources, Google Analytics, YouTube and uh, Search Console. Now we're going to add Facebook data and in order to add Facebook data we actually have to do something with the data before we can upload it. There is a service called Supermetrics that does this automatically. Um, but if you want to do this manually it works as well so on your Facebook page there is this thing called insights you hit insights and then you hit export data there are two types of data here page data and post data for every month what you do is that you select the month that you are uh, working in so let's say that you were gonna do December export the data for December 1 to 31st okay export the data you see here the file comes down you open it up now so after you've downloaded all of your page level and post level months and you put them in two folders here uh, i've prepared a shared doc for you the way that is special the way that it's helpful is that under these uh, different tabs down here i have put i've changed all of these headlines and i've removed these if we could go into one of the files here I've removed all of the unnecessary data like these ones so that you can import the data without any errors in Google Data Studio. So that is the value of this document. And the only place you actually have to be careful is in this uh, sheet that's called page data 2018. So you go into a page level page and you, you choose January 2018. Then you don't take you don't take this first row because that's in 2017 you do not take any of these rows you take from the first until the last one in this first first 2018 first first 2018 and you paste it in and as long as you look at the first date here and then paste it to the first date here it should be no problem because then it will sum up in this place and remember this sheet is not uh, for 2019 but it's for you to be able to analyze 2018 now with some small changes you can use this sheet in order to analyze 2019 as well uh, but you'll figure that out or i show you in another video you'll have to write in the comments if i should do that now page level data good to know post level data and uh, what we do with this one that you can just post all of those that are in here by month post level you just open them up it doesn't matter what order they come in because you can then sort them by date the only reason that i uh, have this one sorted by date is because it populates this calculation here which you can then use to do some non otherwise friendly visualizations uh, so uh, we will get to that later in this video what you can use this tab for so the value of this document is really that I've sorted it out so that it works with Google Data Studio so it's important that you don't touch these things up here that's the one thing that I don't want you to to uh, touch because then you will get an error looking like this okay so let's go over into Data Studio we've saved this as shared Facebook growth data studio template and now we go into this thing and we're going to create a little add new page. I'm going to call it rename. We're going to call this Facebook like so. Now we go into the template here and we look. You will also have access to this shared dashboard to be able to look at this. There's the Facebook logo and let's add that. Boom. Select the file. Facebook logo there it is enter and i decrease the size of it put it over here the next thing number of posts new likes total reach total likes paid reach okay number of posts for the year 
we have that one up there, don't we? Let's pull this down. Date range, out to date range. Last year, because we have last year's data in this file. Okay. So, now what I want to add is the number of posts here. So how do I do that? Well, I come over here. I hit add chart, scorecard. Now it's the number of views because it's the YouTube analytics that is connected. I remove that, select data source and I add a new data source. And I will select a Google Sheet because this is a Google Sheet. And this will be shared to you, shared with me, but I will have it with own with me. And I go to post growth. So this will be, it's a post data and I hit connect. And I will add to report. See, if I wouldn't have sorted these ones out, that would have taken a long time to do. Here, I will go to, you can select pretty much anything here. So what you do is that you go here and you do something about post. Yeah, let's just take, let's take this one. But instead of doing sum here, what you do is that you go here and you do count because they count the number of entries that are in this file. So they go in here, page data, and uh, post data, and they have a look at the number of the number of entries that are there. That's the count. So then you will be able to know how many posts there actually is. Okay. The next piece of that, and then you want to give it a new name, which is number of posts for that year. Now you want to know the reach. You copy paste. You go in here. You write reach. Lifetime post total reach. Okay, that sounds good. Ooh, that's a lot. Then you do here. Maybe you want uh, average reach. Reach. Lifetime. Blah blah blah. Some average. That's the average reach for those posts. Then maybe you want the like growth. Then you go in here and you go like. No, it doesn't exist because we have to add another source. So what we do now is we we uh, click away this source and we add a new one. And that one is going to be also uh, sheets. Now you look at the page level data, page data, you connect it. Add the report that and then you go back and you go in here and you search for like and you have da uh, 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 daily new likes let's select that one boom so that one actually sums up all the daily new likes so now you see all the new likes for the, the for last year so here we go new likes total likes well what we do then is we take the same one, copy and paste, and we instead of daily new likes, we select lifetime total likes, but you see it will become a really big number. So what we do is we select the max here, and that will be the corresponding number of likes that you have on your page. And uh, the reason why I do that is because uh, now we will take the max number, the maximum number in a row like, or in a column like this, and that will hopefully be the last one in, in the, the column. Now, why I've created this sum here is because when you sort, for example, here, if I wanted to create bi-monthly things, it, Data Studio has some problems with, uh, with the dates uh, here. So they give you a bit of a hassle when you try to sort by month. And when you try to sort page like versus number of posts or page growth versus engagement per post, um, this one you can actually, daily new likes versus daily organic reach, that one you can create out of the get-go. So let's do, go ahead and do that. I hit add chart, boom. And we go with yeah, daily new likes, like that. Which was the other one? It's daily organic reach, daily organic reach, there we go. As you see, it's all cluttered here. So we go over here to style and we hit this one, which will send one of them to, to the right hand side, the, the dimension here. Or the, they will put it on one side and they will on the other side. And now I want to turn one of them into bars, like so. And then I want to style them. This one, I don't want it blue. I want it to be this color. Then I want the bars to be purple. I love purple. 
and then we change this one to and then we display as weak boom like so now it's more evident what we can see here so yeah now you can create whatever visualizations you want if you want to create one of the two that are out here you got to connect the other source data source and that's the final data source for this one go in here select google sheets share it with me and we go into annual growth connect at the report at the report comes back you need to go copy and paste before you do that pull it up here there and then what you, you see what we have here date date and page likes number of posts this source page likes number of posts and like so now you are done um, so that was that now you can play around on your own all right so if you enjoyed that then hit the like button if you didn't enjoy it hit the downwards button if you're hungry go and eat something now you should have probably eaten something whilst watching this i will continue doing these videos you know let's have a good day let's have a good have a good time let's uh, do backflips um, yesterday you saw me build a lead page and uh, that lead page is gonna be where you are gonna be able to download the sheet. So I'm gonna see if it works and if I've uh, persuaded you enough. So have a good day. Bye.